Alright guys, so next technique is when you've got out and it's not working. Let's have out. <laughs> Al knows I'm doing this. So Al's putting 100% of his pressure that way. I can't get it underneath. I can't get my underhook. He's got this here. I can kind of get a frame, but his knee's too high up. I'm struggling. This is my foot arrangement for normal half guards. The reason we usually choose this is because it allows me to be able to move. I can move my hips, I can do this, I control myself. But he stopped my control. So now I need to adapt my feet so I can control him. So instead of the normal arrangement where this foot is in and this one's on top, I'm going to switch that arrangement and put this one on top. This one goes on top of my foot, but underneath him. We know this is lockdown. Okay, what's cool about this, yeah, it hurts and it's sucky to the person and some people, if you've never hurt, if you've never felt this before, you might even tap to this, the pressure's horrible. But the cool part about this is I can direct his weight where I want him. So I'm now moving him. So where he was high up on my body, I can now move him low down. Now look. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here. I tried my first, first of all, I always try this. Ah, hey, oh, almost got it. Couldn't quite get it right. Oh, fuck it, this guy's too big. What am I going to do? Love it. Yeah? Happy to give that a try? Now, just see the foot movement as you... Um, about anyone there or... So... Original foot arrangement. Mm -hmm. It's opposite. This goes here, on top, and underneath. Mm -hmm. I now have control yeah. of wherever he is. Make sense? Yeah. Don't think of it as just pinning him down and hurting him. You actually control him. You can move his body. Mm -hmm. So this one's good, because I can move my body. I can get up, I can take your back. Mm -hmm. Cons, I can't move much, but I can move him. Mm. Yeah? Make sense? Mm -hmm. On three, one, two, three. Let's go. Heavyweight then. The school's no problems. I have to start working for my lockdown. From this lockdown position, there's lots of other things I get. Sometimes I've struggled, even when I've gone here, they've managed to ride that arm up so high that I can't even get my underhook. But because I've got control, I'm going to underhook his leg. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to bring him up to here. No. You do that my leg. My knees ain't the best at the moment. But how this works is he's down, I pull him up, and his base comes with me. I underhook that leg. Now I've got his base, I switch the weight to over here, and then I stretch the weight out again, and that causes a sweep. There's also other options from there. I go here, let's say he bases out, and there's no sweep on. Anyone know the banana splits? Oh. <laughs> Daddy boy. Yes. <laughs> Let's say he's super flexible. You can still start working. There's lots of positions. There's lots of ways to work this. Obviously, you skill guys are still trying to master the lockdown. Once it's mastered, we'll go through all of these techniques as well. Yeah? You ever known anyone to tap to the banana split? Yeah, I've Me. got it loads I'm of times. Big boys, heavyweights. Heavyweights don't like this at all. Yeah, the more muscular the better. But yeah, yeah, they can't stretch, they can't stretch. Sorry guys, my knee's yeah. a bit bad to you. I'm not demonstrating these. If, for cat, if these don't look as pretty as they're supposed to, I'm injured, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, on three. One, two, three. Ah. 